At the moment, all the top tech companies like Google, Tesla and Microsoft are buying GPUs. And even if you are willing to pay this high price, the supply is limited and not everyone will get it. And this appears to be the bottleneck, which is limiting the pace of current AI development. Now, what if I tell you that there is one company which offers AI chips with even better performance than NVIDIA GPUs, and it's available right now? This chip is built by a startup called Cerebras, and they've recently announced a new Contour Galaxy One supercomputer, which is capable of four exaflops of AI compute. It is a, an AI supercomputer, one of the largest and fastest in the world. Each one of our, our systems is 50, 60 at the low end, and at the fast end, we have publications 220 times faster than an A100. You know, when we look out there for training work at FP16, we're, we're going to be vastly faster. Now, how this supercomputer is built? It's built of 64 wafer scale engine chips, huge, gigantic chips. Here is what a single chip looks like. If we compare it to a single NVIDIA GPU, it's approximately 56 times larger than an NVIDIA A100 GPU, and H100 is approximately the same die size. The Cerebrus chip is called Wafer Scale Engine 2, so basically it's a second generation, and it's an outstanding piece of engineering. Basically, they had this idea to build the biggest chip possible. And the biggest chip possible is one which occupies the entire 300 mm wafer. And at the moment, there is no way to build a chip bigger than this because 450 mm wafers are not happening anytime soon. Bigger wafers, like 450 mm wafers, require a bunch of new tools. New tools practically means high costs, and it's not seen profitable yet. Anyway, why such a huge chip beneficial for AI applications? Because this processor is large enough to maintain the entire network parameters like weights and activations on the chip, on a single chip, and this speeds up the training a lot. I will be going deeper into this aspect later in the video. Now Cerebrus has connected 64 of such chips into Condor Galaxy One AI supercomputer. And according to Cerebrus, in terms of power consumption, it consumes about 1.75 megawatts of power. Um, I, I think for comparable compute, it's, it's less than half of the power draw of the H100. Condor Galaxy One is just one of nine supercomputers which Cerebrus plans to build. They plan to build two more in the United States. And the most interesting part is that these supercomputers will be interconnected together and they'll be functioning like one big cloud. Uh, the first uh, supercomputer uh, is called Condor Galaxy One, and it's based here in, in Santa Clara, California. It's a four exaflop. It's up and running. It's training AI models. And it's the first of nine such four exaflop supercomputers we're going to stand up and link together into a constellation, a 36 exaflop AI compute uh, constellation, the largest in the world. The first question which comes to mind in this case is, what about latency? I think uh, the first thing, uh, we'll have direct fiber. So we have fiber assets. Uh, that we will use. The second is that we run strictly data parallel. Because we use uh, uh, our wafer scale engine too, we uh, are able to run strictly data parallel. So we we never have to spread and all reduce uh, across a fabric. All right. And so the result is we, we can run uh, across facilities. But because we are not a, a tiny GPU-based solution, we're not a cluster of little elements that require tensor model parallel distribution or pipeline model parallel distribution, we avoid all those challenges. And so uh, what, what is being shared across the multi-cluster link are only gradients. 
it's clear that most of the workloads won't need so much computing power and don't have to be distributed across these facilities. For example, like models with 20 billion, 15 billion parameters can be easily handled within one facility. But if we are talking about models with 80 billion parameters, for example, those can be distributed across facilities. Well, we, we trained uh, to see if we could do it. We, we ran uh, a thousand steps at 10 trillion. But we do have uh, customers, uh, both our customers and customers of our strategic partner, G42, who, who are looking to run 175 and bigger uh, on this cluster. When we think of the training of large AI models, it's not only about the speed of training itself. Software stack is also crucial. One of the key factors as to why NVIDIA was able to grow from gaming to an AI giant was the development of their software stack, CUDA. This is used to run parallel workloads between many GPUs. Similar to NVIDIA, Cerebrus also developed their custom compiler, which can basically take your PyTorch code as it is, as it was written for a GPU, and run it on their hardware without any changes. That's cool. It's that we, we can take PyTorch exactly as written for a GPU and run it on our system. And so the enterprise user has to do nothing. Now that wasn't easy. It took years of compiler development, but right now, uh, I, I think it's an extremely straightforward process and requires no change, no sneaker net. It's all done by the compiler. Now, how much does this mesmerizing AI supercomputer cost? If you would like to get one, looking at Nvidia pricing and in general, big AI training is not cheap. From the talk with Andrew, I realized that a single Waverscale 2 engine chip costs about $1.2 to $1.7 million, depending on the configuration, which means a Condor Galaxy supercomputer will cost roughly $100 million. And for that, you get four exaflops of AI compute. Now, if you think of this, to match this performance, we would need thousands of NVIDIA GPUs, which are pretty expensive too. Now, if we take into account all nine Condor Galaxy supercomputers, which Cerebrus is planning to sell, each costs around $100 million. This means it's nearly a billion dollars project. At the moment, the main customer for this supercomputer is G42. And at the moment, they operate the largest cloud in the Middle East. And they plan to buy over 500 Waverscale Engine 2 chips. Yeah, they're they're based in the United Arab Emirates. They're the the national champion for AI for the United Arab Emirates. They're they're headquartered in Abu Dhabi. They have nine operating companies. One that's got the largest regional cloud called G42 Cloud. They also have a, a health a company called M42 Health, and that's a, a partnership with Mubadala. And there they have vast data resources for healthcare. Basically, they have a huge database of medical data and they want to build, uh, to, to train medical AGI based on it. And I think it's a really cool project and it's really important for the future of humanity. Um, they're also working on, and our, mod, our, our machines have been used so far to train uh, Arabic language chat. There's a, a real problem in that uh, many languages uh, ha have sort of been underrepresented. There aren't enough tokens. Um, and even Arabic, which obviously there, there are hundreds of millions of Arabic speakers, uh, has been uh, a challenge. And, and so th there's tremendous opportunity, and we've seen all sorts of exciting work uh, by G42 already on, on the, the supercomputer. And this is an interesting partnership indeed, because it shows that at the moment, the market for AI accelerators is just huge. And while we talk a lot, or most of the time we talk about United States, there is a lot of exciting development happening outside of United States as well. As you can see, it's going pretty well for Cerebras, and at the moment they're already working on the next generation of their chip, 
vapor scale engine stream, which will be taped out by TSMC in 5 nanometer process node. We, we are in a business where you have to stay on the treadmill, right? That uh, we our wafer scale engine one was at uh, 16 nanometer. Uh, wafer scale engine two was at seven nanometer. Wafer scale engine three will be at five nanometer. The industry demands that that you uh, uh, even before you finish one part, you're you're beginning working on the next. I think Cerebras is a really solid alternative to NVIDIA GPUs. And I was reading a bunch of publications from them. And according to the publications, they offer even better performance than NVIDIA GPUs. For example, in this paper published by Total Energies Research, they compared the performance of Cerebras Wafer Scale Engine 2 with NVIDIA A100 GPU for stencil computations. Stencil computations are central to many scientific applications. For example, problems like earthquake modeling and weather prediction. As you can see from this table, this algorithm runs 100 to 200 times faster on wafer scale engine 2 compared to A100 GPU. And if you are wondering how it compares to the new H100 GPU, H100 has roughly double the performance of A100 GPU. This means Cerebrus chip is still much faster. And this is just one of many publications where Cerebrus chip reportedly outperforms NVIDIA GPUs. I will drop the links in the description below so you can check yourself and let me know in the comments what you think. When we think about the training of large language models, actually it's not only about the speed of training itself. Another thing to think about here is how really fast you are from the moment when you have the idea till the time you start the training on the machine. How much work is it? And if you read the papers, whether it's Llama or, or the uh, uh, GPT-4 paper, they always have this section in the back where they're sort of thanking 20 people for doing distributing compute or 50 people for doing distributed compute, right? That takes months and it takes no time at all with us. That's a, a huge difference. And just a, a quick example, the, 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 the most efficient GPT, 1 billion parameter model, it takes about 1200 lines of code to get that on a single GPU. Now, if you wanna run uh, a 40 billion parameter model, on a thousand GPUs, it's going to take twenty-eight thousand lines of code, right? So you you have to write a new twenty-seven thousand lines of code. Now, for us, if you want to run a billion parameter model on our system, it takes about twelve hundred lines of code. But if you want to run a forty or a hundred billion parameter model on twelve, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four of our systems, you don't have to write any more code at all. And so not only is the machine faster to run the model, it's faster to get your model on the machine by avoiding all that distributed compute time. I'm pretty sure Cerebras has a huge potential and they will definitely get a share of the market. If you enjoy the videos I'm making on this channel, please consider becoming a Patreon and supporting the channel. On Patreon, I write about chips, and transistor technology and also share behind the scenes of making these videos. The link is in the description below. Now you may like to watch another video where I explain the recent advances in transistor technology. I explain the evolution of transistor from FinFET to nanosheets to the ultimate, ultimate transistor. Many people found this video very interesting, so I will drop the link in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video. Ciao.